Pouf, ok. Alright folks, welcome back to another video, thank you all for being here. Today we're playing a psychological horror game called First Fathom. Pretty good looking game in my opinion, I really enjoyed the first one and I had it at the back of my thoughts and I'm really glad that it's here now. I, I bought the game, it was really, it was about one dollar. In any case, it's called Norwood Hitchhiking, it's, it's got something to do with hitchhiking. Anyway guys, just relax, just lay back, make sure you've got nothing at the back of your mind, just enjoy this with me. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. Oh, so this is actually based on real stories, guys. You can actually send your stories to the developers so they can actually work on this thing. But getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. Alright, I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions, like E3 you mean? Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on these things. Drives, actually. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I would take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive? Holy shit. Oh yeah. Guys, I don't know about you, but this looks fine. Really fine to me. Get out. Dude, look at that. Man. Why, why did this have to turn into a horror game? How am I supposed to get back? That's quite surprising actually, I didn't know I could do that. You got it dad, I Aiden Williams, anything else? I'm leaving now, drive safe, holy! Dude. That's weird, the game just went back to start. Yup, careful. Where did you reach? Um, Dad, can you fucking not do that? I'm just, let me enjoy this. Dude, I swear to God, this song is copyrighted. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Yes, of course. Dude, since the gas, what the fuck? Where's my legs? Since the gas reached its half, Thing that since the the thing turned on, stop the music. Ew, Norwood gas station. Okay, did we park the car right? I guess. We need some gas, sir. How's your night going? Where are you headed? Uh, just looked at me. What? Um. Job. Okay. Not. Okay. Holly? Mom? What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Why is he so big? Dude. Hi, can I get $10 on pump 2, please? Uh, you headed to the bridge by yourself? Yeah, why? Not a lot of people head down there this time of the year. Uh, be careful of what you mean, dude. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. Okay, and people who went looking for them never returned. <laughs> Locals say the Norway Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees what the fuck well thanks for the gas dude cool i guess <laughs> have you heard about the norwood valley monster oh we asked him the question how are you doing and he just looked at us 
I thought it was the other way around. Huh? The Norwood Valley monster, you know? Anything about that? I was big. <laughs> Alright, so we got the gas. This place looks nice. Let's get the hell out of here. And one more thing. Yeah, please. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not fucking stop. Just tap on gas as hard as you can. Should I ask why even, like... Like, we know why. Because she's fucking dead or haunted or some. Some people say she died in a car accident. They're on prom night. <laughs> Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was raped and murdered. Damn. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on a the road putting the thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. Just put the fucking leg on the gas, they just ain't. Hey, who's that guy? Wait, I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something from Milo? I'll pay you back. You don't have to pay back, mom. Let's just, should I go back in? I didn't see any dog food there. Fuck the dog, man. Can I change the radio? Thank you. Driving, I'm not sure what, why, dude, wait, wait, at least I used to be, it used to be. What did, what did it even say? Didn't get it. Wait, the... Wait a minute, I did just get some gas, but the gas thing is still on, it's, it's still red. It's not expired or anything, right? Surprising there was dog food in the gas station and you don't need to pay... There was dog food that I didn't get? Oh, shit. Oh, it's not expired. I didn't even get the dog food. Dude, where... <laughs> That's why you don't. That's why you don't text and drive. All of a sudden, you're inside the trees. Only shit. I didn't turn it off, by the way. Hey, I can't see. Can I like go faster? Can you change the gear? Is there even a gear on this car? Dude, what is that? You know what? This one, please don't do this. There is like a background music. Sounds like a little bit of a ghost scream, which actually would have been really good if it wasn't. I would have enjoyed it a lot more and I would it would have feel so good, like much more like a simulation game. At least I would have enjoyed this. But it's the song, the freaking song is keep reminding me that it's all gonna go downhill from here. And fuck that. I'm gonna have to stay on this side of the road because if a car comes out and I crash, it, I bet it won't go all the way back. And I don't want that to happen. I remember the same thing in the first one. That if you get caught by this home invader, this guy would have come inside the house. The game would have just go all the way back to the beginning. And it was a bit annoying, but I'm hoping they actually fixed it. I'm guessing they did. I don't know. Holy shit, where's the road? There ain't no road here. Oh, here comes a bumper. Hey. What fucking car would do this, something like that? I've never driven, seen any car. With that problem, some wrong with the battery, some wrong with the lamp. What's that crap? Those guys run out of ideas. But you know what? It's it's the the environments keep changing. Like I just passed the bridge, and now it's kind of a see. It's a little wilder here. Please don't fuck, dude. That's dude. 
This is so cool. Look at that. I can actually get out of the car, I think, if I press G or something. I mean, I, di I did it earlier. What the... Dude? Dude? Should I get out? What is this? It's just a... It's just a... Is that blood on the crown, dude? No, no. It's just a VHS effect. It kind of makes it look like there's blood on the ground. Hmm. Thank God Dad ain't texting anymore. I mean, look at that. Oh! Jesus, those rabbits don't sound like that. What the fuck was that? Dude, I'm seeing these... Though, though the logs! The freaking logs. This moon is really beautiful. I really like the moon. If I turn this... This... There's this very, very weird thing about that night. I saw those two big logs in the middle of the road. Blocking the way ahead. Um... It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put them down. Hey, they do really look heavy, actually. I mean, I... I don't... Fucking know how... Alright, okay. Stop being weird, man. Fucking extraterrestrial. Better get back in the car, man. I have to move the log. I did move the log. Stop it. Jesus Christ. Go, 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 go. Ah, no. The car wouldn't... It did, it did. Oh, shit, no. Just like that, I was... Stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. The fuck? Please. Ah! But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared. To think how long it would take for someone to pass. Yes, dude, that shit scary. And that's a girl. Her name is a Holly. 1023. That was almost an hour, I think. It was like nine something. Fuck. The dude, the moon ain't even there anymore. Holy shit. Hey, dude. Yo! What a fucking... Yeah, they're probably scared, man. T Dude. Shit. It's in 40. 20 minutes later. Okay. <laughs> it just got darker. And <laughs> literally got even darker. Why did it even get dark? It was already dark. The moon was there. Hey, please, dude. Dude, I'm so fucking afraid to... Ch please. Holy shit. He stopped. Run. Will you fucking run, Holly? You're the girl from the gas station. Hi, I guess. What are you trying to do out here? What do you think? I think my car just fucked up. I can't call for help. There's no phone service, sir. You think I can get a ride, please? I just near a stop where I can call for help. Yes. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Great. Uh stuff should i really oh i can run now i can run now <laughs> i can hold shift and run now finally my stuff dude get the fuck out of the car your stuff you gotta get the stuff all 
Uh, pick the fucking thing, idiot. Throw him, throw, 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 throw him. Dude, is he gonna fucking run away with my stuff? Is he gonna really do that? Did I just pick your hats, really? Fucking hell, man. What even happened to this car? Alright, that was the last one, I think. Jesus, with the music. Enough with that already. Okay. Let's go. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Dude. I hurry up. I need to get moving now. I, I'm i done. Alright, great. Can I go in the back? That would be feel I feel more safer, actually. Fuck. I will feel safer, actually, if I sit back. Uh, here's the freaking freaky part. Should I even talk to him? Oh, so, okay, so this is me. Okay, yeah, this is me. I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you I, I didn't want to... Okay. Um... Yeah, I'd rather not say. Like, I don't know this guy. Even though he's offering me as a ride, but, like... I don't know, that was kind of a dick move, though, not telling him. You're really lucky you had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're one brave young woman. You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. I don't know, it was an old car. I don't know. It never broke down on me like that ever before. It's my dad's, it's pretty old. Yeah. Blame your dad. Don't know how to fucking drive a car, Ollie. So what do you think about what they told you back at the gas station? Honestly, I think the guy was kind of retarded. I didn't listen a single word. He really creeped me out. He was funny. I didn't, I really, I mean, I, he's, I, I, okay. First one. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. I guess, yeah. Are there any more questions, sir? Should I... Can I fucking take a break and close my eyes and... I suppose we're gonna see that now, or something? Then the guy will get killed and I have to run with his car. That makes sense. In a horror game. Okay, so I've been just sitting here in this car, guys, in case you're wondering. It's been like about 10 minutes so far. 15 minutes, I think. And it's just quiet. Nothing's happened. I thought there's gonna be some action. Nothing so far. Oh, I gotta click. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are there are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I didn't I, I don't wanna sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bother. They don't bother you exactly. You don't. I just. I out of curiosity, I touched on the guy's dick, clicked on the guy's dick, and then they started talking. So that's weird, because I was there was a long walk, and I just saw no interactions. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm. I'm not the best with people. It's all right, mate. You're good. Give me a lift. A decent guy. I wish I could return the favor. Okay, so. Right. right is over. Twelve oh eight AM After a little bit of a small talk, it dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. The driver. Okay, um... Wow. This looks fucking creepy. Look at this shit. Not approved for... Occupancy? What? This place isn't even fucking approved. Dude, you're standing all night? That man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Y'all need a room to shack up for the night? 
how much is it for a room 40 bucks for single dude only a few hours only shit pay cash only what the fuck man room number nine right over there ninety dollars tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning all right you put some gas in it at least good i'll let the tommy know and one last thing Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take it very nicely. Okay, I, I got the key. And uh, is that it? Right over there, there's room number die, and it is. Uh, this is right over there. Or am I supposed to fucking know? Five, six, seven, eight? That must be nine. I think. Uh, Dad, I have to stay by a motel. Oh, so they didn't deliver. Bro, where you at? Your dad's calling me. I'm in a motel. Should I? I can't. Can I? I can't. It doesn't work. Ah, <sighs> finally. Can you lock the door? Lock the fucking door. The hell is Dude, what the fuck is this bed, man? Am I supposed to sleep on this? Jesus Christ. Oh no. Oh no. Hello? Dude? Am I supposed to be quiet? Man? Well, that's interesting. Okay. Jesus! Dude, what the fuck? You scared the crap out of me. <sighs> what the fuck? Oh, is it plumber or something? Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn. The finest stop ever in Norwood. Holy shit. What were you doing in there, dude? Come on. You know, cleaning and stuff. Guy at the front this gave me this room. Stop. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I take the room. I'll just get my stuff. Just what? Please wait outside. Go get your stuff. Alright. A little freaking help, dude? I'm supposed to carry one of those, right? Try to not wake up the neighbors. Fucking idiots. Can you help me, this, sir? Your stuff is right outside, I know. Can I? Holy shit, man. Alright, this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna just cut this one. Is this fucking guy serious? Oh, he just fixed the bit. Here, take the fucking stuff. Piece of shit. Oh, she automatically actually bought the dog food. And I didn't even bring the dog food inside the other truck. You fucking still there? Here, I got a surprise for you. You can fucking eat half of this dog food. Just turn around so I can shove that one up your. Can you done? I have a, what the fuck is the guy laughing at? I had a what with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car and I'll, also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. Uh, we've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately here. But you have a good night. Thank you, sir. Fuck out. Shit. I gotta take a fucking nap. Bro! Call it call it a foresight, but there was something very off about this place. I think it, he he was supposed to fix the bathroom. Right? Uh, the feeling that a cup of coffee could help. Dude, I heard the door. I guess... Do we have coffee here? Apparently I'm a ghost myself, because I can see shit in the mirror. Let me see if I can grab some coffee. I mean, she did say... She needs coffee, and why there's a vending machine there. I saw some... Drinks. 
Let me talk to the... Can we get any coffee in this one? So do you serve coffee here? Milk, chocolate, orange drink, carrot, drink, bubble, refresh, soda, nuts, chocolate. Is this a vending machine? Holy shit, man. I don't know. Uh, fucking hate espresso. It's a cappuccino, I think. Dude. Consume, please. Are we good now? Dude. Dude. Oh, dude, the controls are back, just backwards. I'm, I'm holding back and then it's going forward. I'm, I'm holding right and it's going left. They fucking poison me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is not good. Dude, I can see shit. The cappuccino was poisoned. That's probably the end of it? I don't know. Oh, no, no, that's not. 320. I was sedated. Oh, the phone's working now. What the fuck? Should I answer this shit? Alright, um... Dude, I'm gonna get the fuck out because it's... This, do you, I... <sighs> Jesus Christ, am I go, supposed to go here? All right, guys, so fortunately, there was an autosave that brought me back to when the guy dropped me off. So I just fast forwarded that. I'm, I'm dropping my stuff back into the room. I'm going to head back to the coffee machine and I'm going to try the espresso this time. See if I get poisoned again. Hey, uh, somebody went inside that door, actually. So wait a second. I have heard TV on right outside that door. So does it mean the person who actually poisoned the coffee is here? Something like that? I'm gonna try this espresso this time, hopefully. It'll give me some different. I bet it's gonna fucking happen again, so yeah. I'm gonna make difference. Weirdly enough, I saw the guy go inside the closet. And I wasn't sure. Because I couldn't get out of the room, I thought, you know what, maybe I should hide inside the closet. So that I, didn't, I, I just felt the right thing to do. If you want to do something crazy, why would you just hide in the closet if you're already inside my room? Why would not you just rape me or whatever that you're planning to do? Yeah, I'm so stupid, I seen the guy go inside the closet. Let me see if I can find any fucking weapons or something. No, we're good. What about this? This saw something here. Can't go out. I'm gonna turn the TV on. And then go inside the bathroom, I guess. I'm washing my face. If I open that thing, I'm fucked. So let's not do that. Let me just turn this thing off again. Not gonna go to bed again. And, uh... 
Is there anything outside here? I heard something. I don't think I should go to sleep, dude. Okay. Somebody just knocked. Who is it? Joe from the front there's open the door. I I guess This is the shop owner. This ain't Joe. Didn't I respectfully tell you to not wake anyone up? Oh it's It's actually Joe. I, I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the uh, dude, the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? Dude, I th just Joe, come. I can't open the fucking door, open it! Jesus Christ. Dude, this song is scary as fuck, man. Maybe this is just my chance to fucking run away. Something, right? I was right. Whoever put the coffee machine here, which isn't here anymore, was living here. Joe, I swear to God I was here. Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out. Treat the table by the telly with the pills in it. Requires water. Oh, this is open now. Jesus, let me open the fucking door, man. Alright, there's water here. The door was wide open. I'm gonna... <laughs> Alright, let's close the door. Okay, hi. Let me see if there's anything out here. What the fuck? <laughs> That's just dumb, dude. Get the fuck up! Supposed to fucking what the fuck? Hello? Hello? Dude, what is this shit? Hello? Hello? And yeah, there's somebody right outside my door. Hello? Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. Fuck no! I need your help. Please, please open the door. No! What the fuck do you mean? I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm gonna call the fucking cops. It's pretty late. <laughs> okay.
Yo, that was so dumb, dude. <sighs> okay, we're gonna be quiet here. Ah, oh. do this you find it really weird the joke fucking out this the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected motel's reputation and let go of the situation i believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse tommy arrived with the car after a fit like a year I never went on long road trips again. I would have always take airplanes. Yep. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this with me. Or at least enjoyed me suffering for quite a while, especially going through the same thing again to get where I lost. And uh, Royale, thank you. Great game. Really great game, actually. I liked it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace.